guys and welcome to my channel. I am Stephanie and this is the rapid fire book tag. Been done before, but doing it again. Okay, as I said, this is the rapid fire book tag. Don't remember who created this, but it's been going around booktube forever. So forever. But I figured I would just do this. This, as a matter of fact, this has been like changed into storyboards for Instagram and for all kinds of different things. These are just rapid fire questions. So let's just get into the rapid fire questions. Okay? Yes. I have to pick either or, right? So ebook or physical book? Ebook, obviously, because y'all know I don't play with physical books. Paperback or hardback? Um, probably paperback because that's what most of those are back there. Online or in-store shopping? Online because I don't have to leave my house and I don't have to go into a store and be disappointed because I read a lot of indie authors and they're not carried in stores. I have to order them online. Trilogies or series? I like them both. The, the, there really is no difference. I don't mind a trilogy. I don't mind a series. As long as the series do not go crazy like having 15, 16, 50 books in them. Yes, I'm looking at you, Nora Roberts. Heroes or villains? Um, I would probably have to go with heroes, but I have been known to dabble into the villain section as well. A book that I want to read? What? Wait, no. A book you want everyone to read? I want everyone to read Flow and Grip and Still by Kennedy Ryan. This, I want, I want you to read this. I want you to read this, like now. Find out the gloriousness of Kennedy Ryan, please, with this. Recommend an underrated book. Ah, there are so many underrated books out there. Ooh, eee, trying to give you just one, really? An underrated book, I'm stalling. I'm gonna go with Dear Life by Megan Quinn. This book is life changing. It has such a great message in it. That's where we're gonna go with that one. Oh, last book that I finished. Um, at the time of this recording, I had just finished, what was the name of that one? Under Strict Orders by Jamie Knight. And it was a bomb. Um, last book that I bought, and that would have to... March. I bought all three volumes of March by Senator John Lewis. Oh, weirdest thing I've ever used as a bookmark because I don't like to use a whole bunch of physical books. Um, I would have to just say a receipt because I've used a receipt before. No, I've used pens in a book before and other notebooks. I'll stick them together. Do that way. Woo, used or used? No, used books. Yes or no. That is fine. Yes, why not? Um, but it doesn't really happen all that often uh, because I usually buy my books from the authors because they're signed. They're signed. Top three favorite genres. So, of course, you guys know romance. Romance! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Romance! And then in the far distant second would probably have to be thrillers and then um I, ooh and then next I would probably have to say like women's fiction maybe switch those up switch two and three women's fiction and then thrillers so that would be the order but they're like far distant two and three just saying Borrow or buy, and I'm a buyer. Characters or plot, um, I'm a character person. Because if I don't feel for that character, if I'm not feeling connected, like we could be friends, or I could be that character, or I can 
see some semblance of that character in my life. Like, oh, that could be my brother. That could be my husband. That could be my, my son. That could be me. Then I'm not having it. I mean, I do love me some plots. But if I'm not connecting with the characters, it's not happening. Long or short. So I'm a medium person. Um, I don't particularly like really long books. I eat Outlander, why I haven't finished that series at all, because it's, there's like super long ass books. And short books, sometimes authors have to do a really, really good job at setting up short books, and sometimes they don't happen that way. Uh, long or short chapters, doesn't matter to me, because I read on an e-reader, so I just click, 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 or I listen to an audiobook, and sometimes it just goes that way. Name the first three books I think of. Why? Why would I do that? Consequences by Alethea Romig, um, Grip by Kennedy Ryan, and we're gonna go with The Color Purple by Alice Walker. There we go. Books that make you laugh or cry. I'm a crier and a laugher, so give me all the books. All the books. Our world, or fictional worlds, um, our world's in the trash right now, so I guess I'm gonna take fictional worlds for a hundred, yeah. Audiobooks, yes or no? Yes, of course. Uh, do you ever judge a book by its cover? Unfortunately, I do, and I also have hyped books because of their covers, and been like, oh, I can't wait to get to this, and then I read it, and then I'm disappointed. And I'm like, why? Why? Book to movie or book to TV adaptation. So I'm thinking, should books be made into movies or should books be made into TV? Can I have them both, please? Please, please, please. I have seen some really, really, really good, really good books to movies and books to TV adaptations that I'm just like, wow, I did not know that that was a book. And then I go back and read the book and then I'm like, oh, mind blown. I need more of this type thing. So yeah, there's that. And let's see, a movie or TV show you prefer to its book. Um, so I would have to say I enjoyed, I would have to say I enjoyed the Twilight movies more than I enjoy the Twilight books. I think I'm gonna go with that one. Because no other ones are really coming off the top of my head. I found moments in some of the other ones that I've watched that have been like made into. So yeah, we're gonna go with that. Oh, yes, we're gonna stay with that one. Series or standalones is our last question. And like I said, for series or trilogies, I am down for the cause. Sometimes there are some standalones that I think I want more of, but then there are some times I am so happy that books just go with standalones and it's like satisfying and I feel closure and completeness and things like that. So that was the a rapid fire book tag. Um, if for some reason I find out who the original was, or if I can find the original back, 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 back in the day, I'll put that down in the description box, but all the questions are down there. So if you feel like you want to do this or do it again or update it, because I know the first time that I did this, my answers may have been a little bit different, especially when it came to recommending books. Um, I know those have changed because I've read a lot more books. So. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, there is a feedback form down in the description box so you guys can help me improve my channel. My Ko-fi and my Pay PayPal links are down in the description box. So if you think I did a good job and you have a couple extra dollars to donate to my cause of keeping BookTube going great, um, you can do that. I also have my Amazon link down there for affiliates and my wish list down there. So there is that. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the comments. Thank you.